Hello my friends out there in Dragon Blogger land. This is your friend Iggy back again with Dragon Blogger. So today I'm going to do an unboxing and a brief overview for the Tablet Express Dragon Touch S8. This little bad boy has an 8 inch HD IPS screen, 1280 by 800, not bad, not amazing, but you know, 8 inches for those of you that think maybe a 6 or a 7 is too small or a 10 inch is too big. This might actually be perfect for you. It's got Android 5.1 Lollipop. Supposedly it's going to go to 6.0 very soon. And it has the Intel Quad Core Sophia 3G R processor, 64 bit of course, though of course it can't do 32 bit. But anyway, let me talk to you about it as I'm doing the unboxing. So come over here real quick. All right, so here you can see the actual box side just pretty much says Dragon Touch S8 nothing here and nothing here because that's where it slides out all right simple white box all right and just foam right over here let's see what's over here All right, and here we have a USB to micro USB cable. This is about maybe four feet long. Something else in here, but it's stuck. It is the actual wall charger. <laughs> Let me just open rip this apart stuck in there sideways probably during shipping all right so you would just plug this into the wall plug this part here I got that the first time and then you would plug this into the tablet of course okay and I'm going to put the tablet aside just for right now to see if there's anything else down here All right, we have a user's manual. It's actually pretty thick. All right, comes in English, Dutch, German, Spanish, French, Italian, Japanese. So it's a nice little colored document. It actually feels very nice. All right, kind of just showing you how to set up Android. Of course, nothing really specific on this tablet itself and then stop call us if you have any issues don't return it all right and the tablet itself all right comes with this little protector over here screen protector okay and it also comes with a screen protector on here i know first off hand because I can see there's little bubbles here so I'm gonna go ahead and just peel it off and yeah I'll peel it off a lot of people are gonna say oh no don't peel it off so hold on one sec let me get a stand for this real quick all right and this is a pretty cool stand that I found online I'll link it below. All right, you could just stand it just like that. And I'll do that just for the video. And then the power button is right over here. Comes with the power button, the volume up, the volume down button, 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, micro USB cable right over here. A two megapixel camera over here and I believe this is also a two megapixel but I'll show you that in the review all right and it comes with a speaker right over here and a TF slot right over here all right and it actually has a cover right over here I'll just remove that it actually feels a little bit nicer than most of their tablets all right and I'm just gonna power it on 
they usually have power so I'll hold it for a few seconds nice little logo here I've seen it once before on another one of their tablets pretty cool the way it works And we're going through the welcome screen. Again, this is just a brief overview. It looks like it comes a little over 50% charged. Now I'm going to connect to my network. And so give me a sec. Okay. And now after I connect it, it's just checking my connection. All right. Now it's doing software updates. It actually did take about two minutes to do that network check. All right, then checking info. So I just want to mention while this is setting up, this little stand did not come with a tablet. I bought it separately. I will link it below in case you're interested. Pretty cool little, ta uh, little stand. Not only would it hold your tablet like that, but it can hold it this way and it can adjust to your tablet too um, I had a few extra bucks on Amazon so I figured let me buy it and it's actually very 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 nice alright and add my Google account one sec guys alright then we click accept checking info All right, and I don't want to restore, so we'll go ahead, set up as a new device, done, next. Uh, you can set this up. Uh, I'll do that one. I don't want to back up anything just yet. All right, so now we're at our Android desktop. Looks a tiny bit different than I'm used to. Let me go ahead and zoom up a little tiny bit. And we'll go over here. Settings. We'll go to, let's see, about device. Okay, Model S8, Android version 5.1.1, firmware version 6.7, kernel, all this good information. See if status shows us anything here. Just battery life and all that stuff. I don't have the uh, best Wi-Fi down here, so I did have to fight a little tiny bit with it. And let's see more. All right, she seems a pretty responsive so far. Again, I just started playing with her. So right when you get it. Oh, I got something. Oh, I got some email. This is all that comes installed. Browser, calculator, calendar, camera, clock, downloads, email, explorer, FM radio. It does have an FM radio. You need to plug in um, a 3.5 millimeter. It could be a speaker. It could be a headphone. But then your uh, FM radio will work. Of course, I'll show you guys later on. You have the gallery, Gmail, Google. Google Settings, Maps, Music, Play Store, Settings, Sound Recorder, User Manual, Video, and Video Search. That's all that comes installed. And if you need a little bit more proof, we'll go back into Settings, Apps, nothing downloaded. What's running, the basic stuff, and everything installed here. That's all basic Google stuff, but you can see here, nothing out of the ordinary, no extra little bonus features, and that's typical with um, Tablet Express tablets. All right, and screenshot settings, easy enough, show you guys that later. So that's about it for right now, it's just a quick unboxing an overview 
of the Dragon Touch or the Tablet Express Dragon Touch S8. So again, this is an 8 inch HD IPS screen, 1280 by 800 resolution tablet. Comes right now with Android 5.1 Lollipop. Supposedly within two months or less, they're gonna be up, updating it to Marshmallow. I'll believe it when I see it. Uh, the processor is, again, the Quad-Core Sophia 3G-R. That is a 64-bit Atom X3 processor. It has 16 gigs of storage, 1 gig of RAM. It has the camera up here and the camera back here. They are 2 megapixels. All right. It has a wireless N a network adapter, 802.11 BGN. It has Bluetooth 4.0, and as I showed you before, it does have FM radio. It does have G-Sensor. So you can, it senses all that. Um, as I showed you before, it does have the TF card reader, SD, uh, micro SD card slot reader. It has the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, micro SD slot, the power button, the volume down, volume up button, and it's not smooth back here. I don't know if you could see it, but yeah, you could see it there. It's not smooth, but it feels good. All right, and their Dragon Touch logo right up here. Boom, bing, boom, bing, Intel inside. All right, so, Pretty sweet looking tablet. Again, I don't know how it performs. You just literally saw me doing an unboxing. So again, this is Iggy with Dragon Blogger showing you the Tablet Express Dragon Touch S8. See you guys.